what do all those rather abstract concepts related to functions mean in real life? We will look into that using an explicit and very easy example of a real life problem in this video. Question, how much petrol do I have in my car? Well, the answer is of course, it depends. And that's essentially what the function means. It's always, it depends on what? Well, initially I will have 42 liters total amount, which I can have possibly in the tank. Then, it still depends. Well, suppose my average speed is 100 kilometers an hour and the petrol consumption is one liter per 20 kilometers. Well, I wish, but that's nice to make the calculation a bit easier. That means that since I drive 100 kilometers an hour, every hour I drive 100 kilometers, I use one liter per 20 kilometers. So every hour I will use five liters of petrol. So how much petrol will I have in my car? Still depends. Now it depends on the number of hours I've been driving. We can draw that as follows. Suppose I've been driving zero hours, then I will still have 42 liters of petrol. After one hour, I will have 37 liters. After two hours, I use again five liters of 32 liters. And after say six hours, I have 12 liters left. So such a picture actually depicts the relationship between the time and the amount of petrol I have left in my car. This is a way to represent a function where here the inputs are given in the Venn diagram, here the outputs are given and the arrows indicate how the function works. It relates one number in the domain to one number over here in the codomain. Well, the, as we have seen, there are multiple ways to represent a function. One way was the description, which we did already. Another way is to give a table over here. So we put all those numbers in the domain in the first column and the numbers in the codomain in the right column. So after zero hours, you have 42 liters, etc. And then you see the last value I can plug in is 8.4, then I will have zero liters left uh, because we cannot have a negative volume in the tank. So that's another way to represent the function, which tells you how much petrol I have after a certain amount of hours. Another way is to give an algebraic description over here. The domain of my function will be 0 till 8.4. After that, uh, well, I don't have any petrol left. And the output will be a number in R. And the formula P, the amount of petrol as a function of T time, equals 42 minus 5 times T. I lose every hour 5 liters. Second way to represent a function. And the last way uh, we can make from this function, or if you like, from this table, a graph where we put t on the x-axis and p of t on the y-axis and depict the relationship between t and p of t. And now we can see all the uh, uh, concepts related with functions. We have the so-called independent variable t. Plot on the x-axis. You can choose t independently. You can choose whatever t you like, as long as you're in the domain. But once you have chosen this independent t, p, the amount of petrol, is fixed. And that's why p is called the dependent variable, living in the codomain. The domain of the function is in this case 0 to 8.4, the number that those are the admissible input values. And well, what comes out, P of T, that will be an amount. So that will be, in particular, a real number. So the codomain is a set of all reals in this case. Since we have a particular easy function, we even are able to find the range of this function. That is, in general, hard to do. You can see it from the uh, graph. The range is a subset of the codomain. Uh, the values which are actually attained by the function f. As you see, well, I cannot reach negative values, of course, because uh, I cannot have neg a negative amount of uh, petrol in my tank. 
and you see that you cannot get above 42, which also makes sense. So the uh, range is actually the set of all those between 0 and 42. So in this case, you can also determine the range. Now, I know this example is not that spectacular, but it illustrates quite nicely those concepts of independent and dependent variable, which are very important to, to, to grasp, especially if you are going to multivariable functions, domain and codomain and range. Uh, those are also, in this case, especially the range is easy to see. That's why we use an easy example. If you go to harder examples, finding the range will become much more difficult.